Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about what a quant is in 2019. It's been updated a bit over the years, it's changed, it's kind of morphed, but I'm going to tell you guys what I think a quant is and kind of define the basics here. So going back in history a little bit, a quant was originally a sell-side derivatives creator, so a financial engineer that was actually creating derivative products. Uh, it was high-end mathematics being applied um, to derivative pricing. These guys were negatively called, so in a derogatory manner here, quants, because they did so much math, it was just kind of tacked on. It was not a good thing to be a quant back in the day. Um, over the years, you know, those that work with derivatives in general, so buy side and sell side now are becoming quants, and then more and more and more mathematics and statistics were being applied to financial applications. And so then we had the kind of the field of quantitative finance being born. And now moving forward in time, we have more people taking mathematic and statistics and applying these to other areas. And so quant is kind of expanding into other areas, but let's define exactly what a quant is in my opinion. So first off, to be a quant, it's not something that you reach or you become, right? For me, it's a process. It's something you always have to be learning, you always have to be wanting to know more, and you always have to be diving deeper and deeper and deeper into different topics. Um, so I would not consider you a quant if you go out, you get a degree, you get a job, and then you're happy and you're satisfied, and you think you're a quant, even if you're working in derivatives or quantitative finance, I don't consider you a quant if you stop learning. Um, the second piece here is kind of the main definition, which is I consider those quants that have a high amount of rigor and education and training and expertise in all three of the following topics, which would be statistics, mathematics, and computer science. So for quants and finance, we take those three and we apply them to finance. Um, again, you could take all three of those and you could apply them to like, I don't know, the medical industry. You could apply them to like data science, businesses, other areas. But again, being a quant means having very high rigor and understanding, and again, this continual learning component that would make you a quant, in my opinion. So just to kind of point out here, I've had another video called Why You're Not a Quant. Again, this is expanding the definition a little bit, so I would consider now some people in other areas, again, other industries in general as quants. I don't think there really are that many quants in the world in general. They're extremely hard to find because most people get a job, they're happy, they might learn something here and there, but they just don't really care. They're happy and satisfied with where they're at. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, also on the flip side here, everybody thinks they're a quant now because they do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then one other topic. So for example, um, software engineers, right? You're gonna use mathematics, you might be using some statistics, and you're gonna be building software, which is your main goal here. Again, it's possible to be a quant, but I don't consider a lot of these guys quants because you're a computer engineer, software engineer, you know, computer architecture, for example. There's nothing wrong with not being a quant, right? I don't know why everyone thinks they want to be a quant or have this name tagged onto you. Um, if you're gonna be like a software engineer, be the best software engineer you can, right? A software engineer is always gonna be better at computer science than a quant because that's their focus. All their time is spent on, you know, computer science, learning, developing software applications, for example. So their expertise lies in that computer science realm. They're a computer scientist, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome, right? I know a lot of guys, computer scientists, they're really, really bright guys. And if I had really big jobs and things that were complicated, I would always hire them to do it because that's their expertise. Um, again, on the flip side here, if you're a data scientist and you study data science and you wanna be a data scientist and that's like your main goal is only data science, then be really, really, really good at data science and be excited to be a data scientist. Don't try to go out there, I think, and say like, oh, I'm a quant, you know, but realistically, I'm only focusing on data science applications. I'm not focusing on other areas of like statistics and mathematics, going into other types of rigor. I'm only looking at data science and I'm only looking at, you know, the math and stats that applies to my situation. Again, I wouldn't really consider you a quant, you'd be a data scientist because again, you're learning what you need to be a data scientist and data science is starting to get in that realm where it's like you're going to be needing more math and stats to be a real data scientist. But again, this would be like the very top guys that are looking at very, very in-depth quantitative mathematics on how these things are actually calculated and how you'd actually optimize these procedures in a real world practice. It would not be the guy that's just typing in like, oh, I'm fitting data using, you know, some procedure like a NumPy and like PyTorch or using like R, like the neural net package or something, right? I wouldn't consider you a quant because again, you're just doing data science and you're doing it at a very low level. So again, quants, very, very deep, 
Um, again, trying to cover as much as possible in all three areas of math, stats, and computer science. That's what I would define a quant as. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with having a specialty in something else and not being a quant, but that's how I would define it in 2019. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.